Hello beautiful internet family, my name is Dan and I'm the director of the Fearless Drone Academy which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners and in today's video I've got the three must know drone applications for all of you drone pilots out there, more specifically beginner drone pilots who have just got themselves a drone and they're looking for some apps to help them out. These are the three most important drone apps that you'll need right now. If you are a beginner drone pilot and you're feeling overwhelmed by the whole experience of trying to fly a drone and understand everything you need to know about these super interesting robotic flying items, let's call them that, flying items, then definitely check out the Fearless Drone Academy drone course. I've compiled the most relevant, most important pieces of information from my five plus years of commercial drone operation. I've helped lots of other drone curriculums out there, other like training schools, help them with their content. And I've also been a drone YouTuber for years now. Like I'm an authority in the drone space with lots of knowledge and understanding. I'm also a qualified drone pilot with my REPL. Um, so I guess this course is just really for beginner drone pilots who are feeling overwhelmed about the whole experience. It's a must have course if you wanna learn more about your drone. And if you use the code DANSTUBE, you can save 10% off the course right now. First application that I would recommend is called Wind Compass. Now, you can get other compass apps out there, other Wind Compass apps. The one that I always use is just called Wind Compass. Nice, simple name. The reason I love this one particularly though, is it's super clean and easy to read. I love information at a glance, especially when we're so overwhelmed by information. It's just nice to have three key pieces of information here. We've got the wind speed, we've got the gust speed, and then we've got the wind direction. Now the wind direction is very important, and I'll talk about that in a sec, but it's great to know that, you know? Like be aware of what the top wind speed is that your drone can handle. So for example, with the Mini SE, which a lot of people probably have picked up, this is a mini drone. Its wind rating is like 37 kilometers an hour, but it's so tiny, and I would not recommend flying over 30 kilometers an hour. You know, be very aware that this is a tiny drone that if it has to battle against the wind to get back to you, it's gonna struggle. So be aware of what your drone is capable of handling. And then when you use this app, it will tell you what's outside. So for example, right now, we've got wind speeds of 22.1 kilometers an hour, but we've got gust speeds of 33.3 kilometers an hour. So those gusts are unpredictable and wild and 33 kilometers an hour is very fast. So I actually wouldn't fly the Mini SE in these wind conditions. I would just be a little bit nervous about that. But let's say for example, that you are more confident, you've got a larger drone that can handle the wind, then you know it's just really relevant to know what's happening, how fast the wind and the gust speed is. Wind Compass is a great application, but the reason it's so important is really understanding the wind direction. So right now we can see that the wind direction is off to this side here, or like kind of back here for me. So as I turn it, it's in this direction over here. So if I was to fly my drone, for example, in that direction against the wind and then fly back to myself, I would be using the momentum of the wind to get me back to where I'm at. But for example, if I'm flying this direction and then I'm trying to fly back to me and the wind is blowing against my drone, there's obviously gonna be a lot more resistance. So let's say, for example, I fly this way and the wind is pushing me that way, that's all well and good. You know, I get out to a location, I'm like, cool, this is good. But then if you leave your drone too long and it starts beeping and it tells you to return home, you turn it around and you try to fly against the wind, the drone's gonna be a lot slower now and obviously a lot more resistance because you're flying against the wind. The so wind direction is so important and being aware of like the capacity of your battery and how capable your drone is uh, when it comes to handling the wind, you know, how well it can actually go against the wind. So important to know because yeah, you don't want to have low battery and try to fly against the wind to get back to yourself. I've seen way too many people crash their drones or actually have the battery just die on them because they couldn't get back in time. So really important to know wind speed, gust speed and wind direction. Moving on to the next app and this one is called Open Sky. This is an app that's recommended by CASA, which is the Australian Civil Aviation, I guess, overseer, the person who actually oversees aviation laws and regulations in Australia. They recommend Open Sky, but that's what I'd recommend to Australian viewers. 
But if you're in a different country, I would recommend actually going to your government's aviation website and seeing what they recommend over there. You can even just send them a quick email asking for their advice on apps that they would recommend. And basically this will show you flight paths and flight zones. So it's really, really important to know what's happening in the area you wanna fly in. So for example, if I'm looking over at Old Cleveland Lighthouse, you can see there's a little patch there where there's nothing going on. It's empty and there's no orange lines or orange zones in that area. And you can see the checklist has passed. We've got green ticks for everything. We are ready to fly. We don't have to worry about that being a danger zone or being in any sort of flight paths or anything like that. That doesn't mean that you still shouldn't look around because you definitely should have a look around. If you see any manned aircraft or helicopters, make sure you cease operation and land your drone at that point. But this just lets you know where the flight paths are and where the flight zones are. So it's really important to actually oversee the location you're in. You can move to somewhere. This now tells me that heliports are in this area. So it's in a, a flight path of a heliport and I need to be aware that there could be helicopters flying by at any point. And that means that I need to actually land my drone if any helicopters are in the area. Really important to know and also really important to zoom out and see you know, if you're going to a location, let's say in a week or tomorrow or whenever it may be, it's really cool to actually see what's gonna be in that location ahead of time. You know, you don't wanna drive all the way out somewhere and then realize, well, I can't even fly here. The drone won't take off because I'm in the zone of, let's say a military base or an airport. And you would be able to find that out by using an app like Open Sky. You can see exactly what's going on um, in each location. So for example, if I zoom out a little more, I can see there's lots of orange paths, which are normally like fixed wings planes or helicopters. So there might be a heliport in the area, or there might be like a relatively small airport. Um, so in that situation, check the app and it will tell you what you can and can't do. As you can see here, when I'm in the zone, the red zone, which is Brisbane airport, it's telling me no fly. It's a controlled airport so that you just, you can't fly there, you know? Pack up your controller, pack up your drone, and go somewhere else because you do not want to shut down an airport. You do not want to cause any sort of fear or confusion for anyone. So make sure that you're flying outside of those red zones. And that's why it's so important to have an app like this because otherwise, how would you know? You know, <laughs> how would you have any idea what's in the area you're about to fly in? As I move down, I can see there's another airport here, which I'm guessing would be Archerfield Airport in Brisbane. Um, yeah, and it can show you like the actual flight paths so it shows you like all the little tail ends of where the planes are gonna go from. So again, really important information to know. Um, so you're actually being aware of what might come up and uh, also to make sure that you're flying legally because you can't fly anywhere near an airport and that's why an app like this is so important. Um, just such a cool way to just look on it. You know, you can tap, see the recreational side of things. You can see for commercial side of things and also for REOX as well. So you can tap on those and the different rules will apply. It will pop up and give you more details uh, relating to whatever you've clicked on. Um, and you can also just move around manually with your finger and choose a location you wanna to go to. Also type in the address if you really want to as well. Uh, you can also choose the roadmap. You can see satellite if you want. More detailed then if, if that helps you out. You can also see the terrain. So it's quite detailed. I really like to use this. It's such an easy thing to just load up the app, type in where I'm going, and then see what's around me. So powerful and uh, very useful as well. And now moving on to my final recommendation, which is UAV Forecast. This is such a cool app because it's got a very simplified tile interface. But the thing I love about this is you can actually flag certain things. So I can tap on whatever I want. As you can see right now, it's saying not good to fly. Um, it is nighttime, you should not be flying. You're not allowed to fly at night unless you have permission for that. Um, but let's say, for example, uh, let's look at wind conditions. So I can tap on that and it will actually bring up an interface where me as the user can actually put in what max wind I want to be flagged at. So for example, with the Mini SE, the little drone, yes, it's got a wind rating of 37 kilometers, but let's say, for example, you don't feel confident doing that. I can put my max wind speed, let's say to, let's go with 25 kilometers an hour. I can press okay. And you can see that it's saying the wind is okay because it's 17 kilometers. It's letting me know that it's green or it's like kind of a pale green. 
letting me know that I haven't actually hit that point of the flagged 25 kilometers that I don't feel comfortable flying in. And then I can also tap on gusts, for example, and the max gust right now is 25 kilometers. So let's say I bump that up to 30 kilometers for this example here. Well, let's go with 31 kilometers. You can see it's gone green for me because it's actually, yeah, it's within that threshold. Um, so this rating here is telling me that I'm fine. You know, 17 kilometer winds, 31 kilometer gusts. It's giving me green and it's telling me I'm all good to go. With the wind direction as well, you can customize that. You can customize temperature, like if you're in a really hot or a really cold place and your drone can only handle a certain amount of heat or cold, you can then flag that through the application. You can also see the weather as well to see what's happening, but it's so nice. It's just a clean interface. You can customize everything. You can put in the values that are relevant to you, and then it will tell you at the top if it's good to fly based on the values that you've put in. So it's a custom experience for every single pilot. And that's why I really love UAV forecast. There's a bunch of other options. There's forecasts, which makes sense. There's wind profiles, which gives you a little bit more detail. You've got a map interface as well, which lets you know about the no-fly zones, lets you know about all the flight paths. But I really like the first page, which is just called conditions. And that just gives you a tile interface. You can customize it for your experience. Um, and it's really easy at a glance information that's really important to see when you're about to fly your drone. So they're the three must know apps for drone pilots, especially beginner drone pilots. These are the three apps that I would highly recommend to you. If you do want some more information on applications that I would recommend or other insights and tips that I've got, then like I said, check out my drone course, Fearless Drone Academy. Two and a half hours of high quality video tutorials, guidance and insights. I've put everything into this course. Everything you need to know as a beginner drone pilot is in the Fearless Drone Academy. So check that out. Use the code DANSTUBE to save 10%. And I'll chat to you in the next video. Peace.